Um, I am a new volunteer for the Crisis Text Line. Um, I've been working for about a month and a half. Um, I recently switched my major to psychology with the hopes of um, becoming a professional mental health counselor. Um, and so I was trying to look at resources and, and trying to, I guess, begin the process of, of gaining experience, like seeing that this is something that I'm super passionate about and something that I want to pursue in my vocation. Um, and so I, I have a friend here at school and he told me about um, how he's doing something similar and, and told me about the crisis text line. And so he got me involved in the process um, to become a volunteer. And my coach, uh, Maggie, has been super helpful in that. Um, and she just takes the time to reach out and, and answer any questions that I have. Uh, definitely taking my first shift uh, was was very nerve wracking. I remember uh, it's, it's nothing like um, doing the training. And I was kind of wondering, like, is it going to be the kind of similar um, to the conversations you have while you're training? Um, it ended up being... Um, yeah, it ended up being a lot smoother um, than I had anticipated and really just trusting yourself, um, trusting the skills that you've built up and just like being confident in the training that you have kind of helped me like make my way through that first shift. I pretty much say is um, just to go for it. Um, I think there's always a lot of hesitation. Like, is this something that I'll be good at? Um, there's a lot of like scare, scare, I guess, anxiety around the unknown of, I guess, um, taking a step like that. Um, but I would say, um, I would say just go for it. And, and you don't really learn until you try something new. And so I think it's just an experience that um, per, you get a lot of skills from and, and you're able to ha do something that's like very rewarding. Um, you learn how to empathize with others. Um, I would say the biggest thing I've learned is uh, ultimately that like people don't like need your advice. Um, they just need to feel seen and understood. I've learned that uh, more than anything, like people just listening and being attentive to what they have to say um, is the most like healing thing that people have. And it's something that I was thinking in training of like, Eh, like I had my reservations about it, but truly enacting those skills like while I'm on the um, while I'm on the text line, um, I've just seen people just like um, make so much improvement. In